Hey Loomers, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you another Valentine's Day bracelet. This is the Love Arrow, and I do have a video showing you how to create this using the hook, but today I'm going to show you how to create it on the loom using just two pins. This was designed by Loomy Mama. It's been quite some time since the original came out. Um, and this is easy to do on the loom in my opinion. So hopefully a lot of you can make it today. So you'll need about 74 bands. And the breakdown of that is 38 of this gray color. 12 of the clear here in the center. If you do decide to match that center to those white bands, then you'll need 50 of those total. So 50 of these total instead of 38. But I'm going to do two different colors like I did in this one. So it's 38 of that, 12 of the clear, 12 of the red hearts, and 12 of the burgundy hearts. So I'll have that written down below for you. Um, also, if you haven't noticed, in order to see the hearts, you have to wear the bracelet upside down. This is actually how it comes off of the loom. So just in case you didn't realize that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm not going to ramble on. Let's get our supplies ready and let's get started. To make this bracelet, you are going to choose either two pins on the loom or two pins on the monster tail. You're going to do the same steps, but I am going to use the loom today. I just preferred over the monster tail. And you're going to decide first what color you want for where this gray color is. I'm going to use white for that. And guys, I've been really raspy in my last two videos. I do apologize. No matter how much I clear my throat, it just comes back, so try to ignore it. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're going to start by placing a figure eight across the two pins and we will lay one more of that same color straight across. You're going to now choose whatever color you want your first heart to be. I'm going to use red like I did in this one and then I'll alternate with purple on the next one. But for now I'm just going to grab the red and you may want to have four of those bands close by because we will be needing four total by the end of this section. So we will now also lay that red straight across. And now we are going to do some looping steps but only on one pin first. So I'm going to start on the left pin and we're just going to bring the bottom band up and over. My white bands are really tight so as soon as I lift it it kind of flings to the side. But that's what it should look like. We're going to grab one more of that same heart color. And once again, we'll bring up the bottom band on the left pin. Whenever you do a hook design on pins, you have to do a lot of moving the bands around, so just be warned of that. We now have to move these two top red bands over to this pin to get them out of the way. I like to just move one at a time, but you can grab both. I just find it a little risky, so I do it that way. So now we're going to add some more bands on and loop the right side. So we should have two more bands out of the four. So we're going to lay one straight across. And just like we did on the other side, we're going to grab the very bottom band. Loop it up. And lay your last heart band for this section. Grab the very bottom band and loop it up. Once again, we are going to shift these top red bands back over to this pin. So grab the very top one, bring it back over, and the next one. So this is what it should be looking like. So now you're going to decide what color you want in the very center of the heart, which is this clear one right here. And I showed you on this white one, I used white. So I used the same color as I did there. It's completely up to you what you want to do. I am going to use this clear pink color. And we're going to lay that straight across. Now we need to loop the first, or excuse me, the two bands that are under the band we just laid. So on the right pin, we have these two right here. You're going to bring them up. And on the left pin, same thing. And you could have done that one at a time if you prefer. So now I'm going to go back to my very first color, which is white. Again, it's going to be 
this group of bands right here. And we'll be laying three of them, so have three of them close by. So we will lay one straight across. And now we are going to loop the second band up on both pins. So this clear, pink clear jelly. And the same on the left pin. Sometimes the second side that you flip up is a little further out than the right. So sometimes you may want to just go like that to adjust it so it sits in the middle. Once you do that, we're going to lay our second white band. And this time we are going to be looping up the very bottom band on each pin. So make sure it's the very bottom one that you're grabbing. Do the same thing on this side. Push it down a little bit. And we're going to lay our last white band for this section. And we're going to bring up the very bottom band again on each pin. Just push that down in there if those bands are like hanging out loosely because that does happen. So now we're going to choose the next color that you want to use for your hearts. So you can use all of the same color if you want, but I'm going to do like I did here and alternate and go to purple. So have four of those close by because we'll need four per section. Our first one, lay it straight across. And we will be working with just one pin at a time. So it doesn't really matter which side you start on. Since I started with the left before, I'll just continue to do that. We're going to grab the very bottom band and bring it up. And we need to do that again. Grab the very bottom band and bring it up. Now you don't want to grab two at a time and do that because then the bands will be out of order. So you have to do it like I did it. Push that down and we're going to grab our second purple. And by the way, I said we're going to be using four, but it's two per side. Um, but it's four total. All right, so we are now going to grab the very bottom band, bring it up. And now we'll do some shifting around. So we're going to grab the two top purples on the right side. And we're going to move them over here to the left just to get them out of the way. And now we'll start laying some more and work on the right side. So we will lay our purple on. Grab this very bottom band and bring it up. And now grab the bottom band and bring it up. Grab your last purple for this section, lay it on, bring up the bottom band. So we need to now bring the top two bands on the left side back over to the right. So we are now done adding our heart bands. We will go back to adding that very center clear color, which for me was the clear pink. We will lay that straight across. And we now need to bring up the two bands that sit directly under that pink band. So one and two, and the same on the left side. We're gonna go to our white bands now. And this is where we will be laying a total of three of them. So we'll lay band one. We're going to bring up the bottom, or I'm sorry, excuse me, the second band on each pin. Adjust it if you need to. We're going to lay another white. This time we're going to bring up the very bottom band on each pin. Sorry, when my hand gets too close to the camera, it does blur out. And we're going to lay our last white band. Once again, we will bring up the very bottom band on each side. That is the end of that section, and we are ready to start our next heart. So if you're going to use the third color, pick that now. I'm just going to go back to my red. So I'll grab four of those and have them close by. 
We're going to do that all over again. So we will lay that. We will work on one side at a time. So we will bring up the very bottom band and then the bottom band again. Lay band two. Bring up the bottom band. We're going to move the reds over to the left. And now we're going to add our right heart bands. So we will add the top band. Remember, we have to bring up the very bottom band on the right. You cannot just grab both of these like that because then the bands will not be fishtailed. So grab the bottom one, bring it up, come back, grab the next bottom, and bring it up. This is the last band for this section. And we're going to bring up the very bottom band again. So this is the point where I return the top two bands over to here to start the next section. You technically, and then we would lay this clear band, you technically could lay this band right now and then just bring all four of the bands up. But the reason I don't do that, you can do that once you get comfortable with the pattern, but I like to stick to bringing everything back to its place before starting the next section just because I feel like it'll be easier for you guys to understand what we're doing and how the pattern is broken down. That's just me. If you want to do it the other way or you're understanding it in your head, then you can certainly go ahead and do that. But now we're going to add that pink clear on again. And we are going to bring up, it's technically the second and third band on each pin. And it is the two under that clear pink that we just laid. And we're going to do that on both sides. And if you feel like it's a lot of steps, don't worry. I will tell you exactly where to go to continue watching. So you can make the entire bracelet wash, watching my instructions if you need to. So now we're going to grab three of our white bands. We laid our first one. We're going to bring the second band up on each pin. Lay band two. We're going to bring the very bottom band up on each pin. Lay band three and do the same thing. Grab the very bottom band on each pin. And now we are ready to start our next section again. So I'm going to go back to purple. We're going to bring up the very bottom band on the left pin, go back to the left pin, grab the very bottom band again, and bring it up. Lay your second band, bring up the bottom band on the left pin. We need to bring these top two purples over to the left to move them out of the way. going to add our purple band on and now we're going to loop on the right pin. So we're going to grab the very bottom band, grab the very bottom band again on the right pin. Lay your last purple band for this heart section and bring up the very bottom band on the right. We're going to return the top two back to themselves over here to the right. And this is where we will add our white bands on again. Actually, we need to add our pink clear on first. We will bring up the second and third band on each side, which again is the two bands that sit directly under it. Now we will add our white bands, which is three of them. So add band one. We will bring up the second band on each side. Band two. We will bring up the very bottom band on each side. 
and band three. Same thing, we will bring up the very bottom band on each side. We are now back to the start of our next section. So I'm going to do two more hearts without giving uh, verbal instructions. And you guys can follow along. And then at the end of this, I will have a timestamp on where to go exactly back in order to finish making it in case you need to keep watching. Okay, so go ahead and keep watching from the timestamp that I put, um, and it will pick up exactly from here, which is the start of the next heart. Keep watch, keep doing those instructions so it's long enough to fit your wrist. Um, when you reach this part again, where you have all three of the same color here, and it's the end of the heart step, this is where you would close it off. All you would do once your bracelet is long enough to close it off is you're going to bring up the bottom band on each side. And then you're going to do that again. Bring the bottom band up on each side. And now we're going to bring both ends together. That is where we will attach our C-clip. I'm just going to pop mine off. And that's it. That is how you create the Love Arrow Bracelet using the Rainbow Loom. Remember, this was originally created by Lumi Mama. It's been quite some time since we've released that. <laughs> but I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys. 
I was really happy to get another Valentine's Day bracelet out to you guys. I made a post on YouTube and a subscriber recommended to convert this one. I'm glad I was able to do it for you guys and do it so quickly. So if you make one, find me on Instagram and tag me at Loves to Loom. Um, make sure you put at Loves to Loom because I am not seeing it if you don't uh, put the at in front of my name. All right, that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching another video. I'll see you real soon at my next tutorial. Thanks, guys. Bye.